Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are reviewing San Diego Comic Con. Um, at least a few things. Uh, so let me get a few things out the way before I even talk about it. We are doing a giveaway. I got so if you guys don't know, most of you guys don't know. I, I haven't really talked about it. My birthday's coming up, so I got a special video uh, planned for just for that. But first, I in this video, we're going to talk about the giveaway. So I decided to switch things up. And instead of one figure, we're giving away two figures. Because these figures have been sitting in boxes in my room. And I really need to get rid of it just so I can have space in my room. So I'm trying to get rid of these, these uh, figures. Um, so I'll talk about uh, the giveaway towards the end of the video. But for right now, let's talk about everything that's going on at Saisho. So if you never, or not Saisho, San Diego Comic Con, um, if you never watch any of my con videos, I talk about basically all the stuff that I collect. Um, so it's like Sideshow, there's Mesco, all types of uh, figures like that. Uh, I don't go down each and every specific line because there's a lot of lines I don't collect. Um, so I'm just... Just get that out the way. I'm not gonna talk about every single figure that goes on, um, but these are the ones, the big impacts. We're gonna talk about the debacles that have been going on from NECA, from Hasbro, all types of things. Um, nothing against those companies either. Just they, um, and technically it's not. Really, I, I'll, I'll get into it, but uh, but then we're gonna talk about all the other reveals. So let's just hop right into. It. We're gonna start off with Sideshow, which at first, they had a, a, a few rocky few days. The first couple of days were rocky. They were showing off the same stuff over and over again. But uh, since they all going out throughout throughout the whole week, they've been dropping some real, real fire reveals. I'm not sure how many um, hot toys and sideshow exclusive figures they're going to have. But we're going to start off with the uh, Illusion Iron Man. Now, this was probably one of the most expensive expensive figure that they've shown off it was about 420 bucks not even including shipping but it's a really badass piece one that uh, a collector if you're a fan of hot toys you would definitely want in your collection um i definitely understand people uh i i understand people not wanting to pick it up and i also understand people jumping on this thing you don't really see anything like that not too many figures or, or too many times you're going to see Hot Toys make figures like this. So it's really unique. I love the zombie and uh, zombie-like face of him. Uh, it's actually pretty sick. I mean, the whole the whole suit itself, badass. He's all ripped apart. I really, really love this piece. Um, I couldn't bring myself to pay for it since it is uh, 420 bucks, And there are so much things that I have. Um... And I'm not willing to drop that much money. But for the people who did, man, salute to you guys, man. You guys um, got an awesome figure. They also revealed a cable. Now, this is one that I did pre-order. And I really like this cable. I'm not the hugest, hugest cable fan. But just like how he looks, he, uh, he has a lot of other pieces as well. Um, he has like the ripped face, like this mechanical face that looks absolutely crazy. Uh, I really like that. I know people are complaining about the face on cable. Um, and I, I could definitely understand that. Um, you know, people are complaining about the teeth. It's kind of the same thing with the Ant-Man. There's a lot of people, because I follow the Facebook group, who like the Ant-Man. Um, but people understand, like, the face. Um, this one, I don't really have that much a problem with. You know, I'm not the... Like I said, I don't really collect that much Hot Toys. Um... But when I do, I, I mean, I'm just a fan of it. I'm just a fan of the character. I'm not too net picky like other people who are really that de deep into this line. Um, I kind of wish the the gun was bunkier, uh, uh, bulkier like the Mesco. Um, but that it would it would do for now. I really like the arm. The arm looks pretty pretty crazy if you ask me. And you know he has other accessories as well. He has the um, the pistol. As well as the, I guess the little shotgun, a knife, and uh, the teddy bear. The teddy bear is the the one that sells it too. But I really, really like that figure, so I'm picking it up. I'm not sure about other people. They all showed off another Wonder Woman. Now people are complaining about the face sculpt on this one as well. Um, 
this is from the movie so uh there's a, a another face sculpt that uh, people like that would prefer that on this uh, me like i said not one i mean i love wonder woman um, but i'm really tired of her and then they revealed the harley quinn which we're not even going to talk about because i am so tired of seeing harley um and if you are to pick up any harley i really think you should pick up the arkham knight harley since they really nailed that figure um but man uh, so that's about it for the wonder woman uh of course they had the other reveals going into hot toys which is the stanley ragnarok um that looks pretty cool i'm not picking that one up but if you're stan lee big fans who, who love collecting his uh figures you guys could definitely pick that up as well then there's the spider-man black suit which i did put a pre-order out for him um but i'm not really sure if i'm going to continue it i, I know i just if i don't if i end up canceling it i just wasted what 20 20 something bucks on it but I, I I might I might pick it up because I eventually want to get down the um, Spider-Man line. But to me, it looks pretty cool as well. Then it has some Star Wars, the Anakin Clone Wars. It looks like there's a deluxe version and with him on the step. I believe it's called the step. The step. I'm not the hugest Star Wars fan, so I don't really know. But I know this is him from Clone Wars. I really like the ones with the cloth better than than these ones. But like I said, I'm not the hugest star wars fan out there as well as um obi-wan kenobi from clone wars as well so these star wars fans need to jump on it because star wars especially anakin sells out pretty much almost all the time but that was about all the exclusive for side shorts and i forgot to say this is as of friday july 24th 11 50 p.m so if there is more reveals we're gonna do more part of uh, part two to this uh video which there is going to be more reveals coming soon we're going to talk about some six scale sideshow prototypes that got shown um which now they're diving into the like the killer lines so i was actually surprised to see that today as of this morning uh ghost face um there you can get uh go on sideshow and get rsvp to be notified whenever those go live um, but man, it's actually pretty cool. I really, really, um, going up, I like, I like the screen movies. I know they're not the best killer, uh, killer movies out there, not the best horror movies, but I really like Ghostface, man. I really love just him. I always, always had, I had the bloody mask. When you pump the heart, the blood would come down his face. It was growing up as a kid. I loved that, that, um, that face mask. Um, so this is definitely what I would definitely picked up as well as Michael Myers. To me, Michael Myers is the most scariest villain or scariest killer out of everybody. It's just that when you look into his face mask, it just got this deep, it's like you're staring into a ghost or something. It's like, I just love Michael Myers, uh, look and then you know you could tilt this head with the knife to make it real real scary for you horror fans you guys gonna love that one that I wasn't really really that big of a fan of when they showed it off was the leather face which is the pretty the pretty woman mask now i'm not I'm, i kind of wish they didn't do that mask i wish they would have picked another style for him but if you love leather face you love that that one um scene from the movie uh, this is definitely one you would definitely want to pick up as well. They also showed off a Superman Christopher Reeves, which was actually pretty shocking. Um, the studios, even like uh, uh, Mesco, came out with the Christopher Reeves. So now you know they love. I love when when uh, companies decide to, to dive into other lines. They really don't see that much. I kind of wish they would stick with that. I know Christopher Reeves is a huge line, but for like, like I said, the killer lines, it's pretty, pretty huge. But that was about it right now for, for Sideshow. There was definitely more uh, like PCS statues and Marquez statues that they revealed, but I'm not going to dive into that because I really don't collect statues. But if you guys want to check it out, just go on Sideshow, show, Sideshow.com and check it out for yourselves. But they got some pretty, pretty awesome statues. If you guys are really into that, like the big Sentinel piece, the big glorified piece that everyone is talking about. Um, even the Hasbro run, but we'll get to that a little bit later.
So let's talk about Mezco. So Mezco revealed they started off with the Samurai Golden Roach. This is the Golden Roach is the, kind of like their mascot figure that they come out with probably every con. Um, this one I have mixed uh, mixed feelings with because it was way too much money. It was almost like one six one seventy plus tax, so it came out to like two hundred bucks. Now, for me, I decided to skip on it because it came with all these extra accessories. It also comes with a shirt size that doesn't even fit me. Um, so I decided to skip on that. Um, I kind of wish they would have said probably in the future they would sell the option, uh, have options for it to sell all the extra stuff separately. Um, you know, I see a lot of people agreeing with me on that as well. I see a lot of people talking about that as well. That a lot of people would rather have the figure sold separately than the whole bundle itself. Um, so I can't, I, I don't know, man. It's a cool figure. Don't get me wrong. I really, really, really would have loved it. But I decided to skip on it. And um, that was one of the few figures that I wanted to skip out on. Now, they also revealed Bishop. Now, to me, he looks badass. I really, really love the look of him. The face sculpt is kind of questionable. <laughs> like, um, uh, you know, I see some people who are lo absolutely loving it. I see some people that are on the fence about it. Um, I don't know. It's just got this weird look in his face. I don't know. It looks crazy. Um, he has the dreadlocks as well to go with. It's actually pretty cool if you ask me. He actually has three different, um, um, or two different face sculpts, but he got one without the dreads and then one with the dreads. Um, I prefer if I'm gonna get this figure, which most likely I am, it's gonna be without the, well, I mean, with the dreads because he looks way better in that. You know, he has the big shoulder pads as well. He has the X-Men So A lot of people are complaining too. There's no red scarf with him. So that was kind of disappointing, but make your own scarf. <laughs> um, and you know, he's gonna have the big gun just like uh, Cable. So, but that's about it, man. He looks actually pretty cool. I'll definitely pick it up. They also revealed Ultraman. Now, I'm so actually surprised. It was actually a surprise that they decided to go into the Ultraman line. Um, as well as the other character. I don't really know the other character. I know Bandai um, Tamashi. They go in on the Ultramans. So, it was actually pretty, pretty shocking. I guess just competitive field, probably. I'm not really sure, but... Um, and I don't know why Mesco decided to go into the Ultraman as well. But that's about it for the reveals from Mesco as of right now. So, like I said, if they have any more reveals, um, we're going to talk about it in the other video, part two, most likely. Because the day probably is just getting started for um, everything right now. So, that's about it for Mesco. Now we're gonna talk about Storm. Now Storm reveal. I, I should also say like these weren't just for con exclusives, so these were just more of like future pre-orders coming out soon. So a lot of them weren't San Diego Comic Con exclusive only to the con where you where they drop it, you pick it up. That's not uh, well, not any of them, but most of them are just pre-order. Almost every figure revealed is all pre-orders. Like, even the Sideshow, like, it was, like, coming out two years from now. Or the Hot Toys, like, two years from now, 2021 or 2022, in the beginning of 2022 for the cable. It's like, man, it's just, like, so long. You have to wait. But, um, but yeah, so, so with Star Collectibles, they revealed um, a Mataro. Now, they, they'd shown that off at Toy Fair, but it was just a prototype. We finally see him in full form. He looks absolutely crazy. I love the blast that goes with him. It looks absolutely nuts. Uh, I really, really love this Mataro, man. Um, now, I would love to get a Kentaro. Kentaro would be absolutely crazy, but I really, really love that the Mataro. He looks absolutely pretty sick. Um, they also showed off a Darkstalkers. 
um that looks pretty pretty cool um now this says pending approval so most likely most likely it's gonna get revealed uh or, or approved but it's actually pretty cool that they're going down the dark the dark stalkers line that's a huge one too man i really really would love for them to approve it uh my favorite thing about storm is that they if you go follow them on twitter man they actually respond to you they like your, your comments i really love companies that do that um that actually involve with the community not like other companies who actually not so i really really love that storm is actually really involved with the community whoever runs that um community um of uh, Whoever runs the community in general is just pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome person, whatever that is. Um, they revealed the unmasked Sub Zero from stuff from uh, from Part Three, uh, from Mortal Kombat Three. That looks absolutely crazy. I really, really love this. I'm not the hugest Sub Zero fan in the world, but just getting unmasked characters is pretty cool. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that, man. I really, really love it. But. <sighs> Let's talk about the debacle that they had. So Storm had the debacle going on with Raiden, uh, Red Raiden, um, where he has red his red suit, as well as Scorpion, uh, the event exclusives. Now, it was uh, crazy because just the day before, I literally tweeted at them and said, please don't let the site crash. They, they liked my status, but... Not really much you could do about that. Um, so when you actually, when they actually went up, not even two minutes into the, to me trying to click on and like literally clicking on them, couldn't even pre-order, couldn't even click on them. It was when you're adding them to the cart, it was um, adding multiple um, figures as well. Then we're kind of confused because it was actually adding a sector for free into the, to the, um, cart which it was like what the hell's going on so then uh you couldn't even check out even if you wanted to you couldn't even get to the screen it was just frozen on the screen they were tweeting out like we were aware what's going on so it was about like at least 45 minutes i was sweating and everything i was really nervous more than i should be for for getting any toy but um eventually uh they said the site was up and warning uh running um it's gonna be really slow so it took me just a little bit more i was really really careful i was literally on my laptop and on my phone trying to mess around um with both sites and then that's when it hit right there uh um i f eventually got in i was was able to get them then I added Sector because it said add free gift. So I added Sector and I eventually got it. Um, but so I was kind of confused. I was like, please, I hope they don't send me an email later on charging me for that Sector. Um, so uh, if not, I was going to hit up customer service. So then they tweeted out that the Sector was free towards this event exclusive so that was like man that's pretty awesome but a lot of people were saying that they weren't able to get the sector so um that kind of sucks for people who weren't able to get them um especially if you don't have them it would have been awesome if you if you were able to get a free sector out of the deal but a lot of the only reason why you weren't able to get them if you did buy it was able to buy just one of those figures was because of that because you only bought one you had to buy the raiden and the scorpion and able to get the uh, free sectors which i was able to purchase both of them so that was it for that tobacco that happened but like i said everything is up and running big bad toy store today just posted um that they have them so if you you missed out on them you still need them go on big bad toy store before they sell out because i have a feeling that scorpion is gonna sell out even though their store collectibles figures stay up there for a long time um those figures will sell out eventually so you could jump on those um but um but like i said it's, it's kind of up in the air so that was it for storm talk about NECA so <laughs> NECA actually dropped the ball as well like i said it wasn't NECA's fault i said this a little bit earlier in other videos 
NECA has this huge problem with dropping figures and them selling out within seconds. So um, that happens with the, the two pack of Casey Jones and Raphael in the skies, as well as the other two. So when NECA actually dropped the figures, I was actually waiting for the drop. Um, I didn't even know that the drop happened. So that's how crazy it was. And when I did finally find out that the drop did happen, people were complaining that it was sold out. And I was like, I missed the whole drop. So I had no idea that the, the drop actually happened. Even though I should have been, I have them on um, Twitter. I got notifications on. I didn't get any notifications at all to know when the thing dropped. Eventually, the folks over in the UK are having, like I said, I said this in a video, they're having a fantastic job when it comes to, to NECA because they're getting all the crazy exclusives and they're getting them with ease while we in the United States are struggling to get our damn um, NECA figures. But they had the two packs um, of the Turtles and then the Metalhead um, that dropped. And like I said, those things sold out so fast that you couldn't even react to them. Um, it it kind of sucks. So then uh, it, it led down to NECA actually putting up a um, a, a, um, a a tweet saying like um, that they're going to work on, on trying to get the Razor and 2 car that's supposed to come out later on in the year that they're going to take steps into making sure that they don't get bodied by scalpers because these scalpers man man you guys are crazy and you know i'm not a big fan of you guys man especially with funko but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later um but yeah that was it for NECA, man holy crap okay so now we're gonna talk about hasbro so hasbro revealed a lot of things over the weekend um they had hellfire club that looks pretty awesome at the three pack um, I would definitely, definitely pick those up. I'm not too familiar with Hellfire Club. Um, I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of Marvel like that. You guys know I mean, I'm more of a DC fan, but uh, I love Marvel as well. I love both of them. I'm not going to pick sides, really. Uh, it's so stupid that people pick sides. I don't want to... It's so damn stupid. But anyways, um, they revealed the, the another debacle that happened was the two pack with Storm and Thunderbird. Those things sold out within seconds, man. I was like, holy crap! I tried to get I tried to get my hands on those when that when that thing went live. I really I was on it. It was crazy. I went into Target, but then um, it was gone. It was gone. Now don't get me wrong. Those things will restock, so if you missed on them, don't really be too mad. Those things will restock. I am a thousand percent positive those will. So don't get too too mad. But this is happens way too much. It's way too much with Hasbro. Uh, they need to really start listening to their customers. Um, I see it on Facebook and Twitter all the time of people telling them like, please stop making them exclusive. Um, and just start giving them out everywhere else. To, and I feel like they should. They should just give it out everywhere else instead of making them exclusive because they're just selling out. Um, they sell out like crazy. And then eventually when they do hit stores, there are like thousands of them. They'll stay on those pegs for a really long time. Um, as you guys can see, if you guys go into your um, local Target, you will see those... Um, uh, Wolverines just on those pegs all day and it's just like man even with the Fantastic Four those figures were on there all the time so there's that as well then they revealed the Venom cap that looks pretty cool I really would love it I love how Funko does the Venom but I really really would love it. if um, Hasbro continues that it would be pretty pretty awesome um, if you guys don't know Venom characters um, Venom with the characters, so like a Venom, Captain America, Venom, Spider-Man, that looks pretty cool. So if if um, they continue to now, really, really would love that. They have a three-pack that went up on Amazon. Um, Nimrod, Psylocke, and um, Phantom Max, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's still up for pre-order. You want to get those right away because those things will sell out on Amazon. And trust me, you don't want to miss out on it. They had an old man. Logan and Hawkeye two pack that looks pretty cool. Um, I might pick it up. I really like. I like Old Man Logan. He's pretty cool. Um, 
I forgot what movie that he was in with Old Man Logan. But I, re I really, really love Old Man Logan and, and the video and the video games as well. The old video games, not the newer ones. Uh, because there's not too many newer X-Men games. And then the X-Men movies, um, which they revealed. Uh, we've seen them before they revealed them, but we got more promotional shots as well. I really love that Mystique. I kind of wish that instead of the arm that she has, that, that they showed changing colors. I really prefer like a head or a torso or something else to actually show her changing. That looks pretty cool. I really love Mystique. She was pretty awesome in the movies. But that was it for Hasbro. So now let's talk about Funko and that huge debacle. And Funko, I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know what you guys are doing, man. But it was crazy because Sully, who 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 runs Funko, no, he don't run Funko. He's not in charge of Funko, but he does like the. He's one of the most vocal guys on there. He's always on the live streams, always doing the unboxings. Cool guy, really nice guy. I really like Sully. Um, but he tw tweeted out and, uh, that the site should be up and running. There should be no problems when you're when when you're pre-ordering his items. Now I know for sure the bots um, the bots didn't have a chance because that thing was captured crazy. Uh, even I was having trouble through the capture. But I was in line. I was still in the checkout mark, uh, line waiting for it as you guys know if you purchase anything from the funko shop you guys know there's the little circle that goes in when you're trying to put in your information for the um shipping um and it was literally stuck on there for minutes and minutes and minutes i really wanted the black lightning um i don't know why but funko actually was charging 30 bucks for the zombie the thing and GameStop was charging 50 bucks for that. That that sucks. Like, how can you charge 30 bucks on your site and, and let GameStop charge 50 bucks? Which normally a 10 inch, uh, uh, even though that they're, they're exclusives, um, a 10 inch, their normal 10 inches are 40 bucks. They're not 50 bucks. So why would why did uh, out of any exclusive you let GameStop charge 50 bucks for the thing? And um, even though when I went into my GameStop, the clerk, uh, the manager, he told me, he was like, yo, dog, we have a 20% sale off on the on, on all action figures. So I could have got a, a discount, but still it was like, man, that's still extra money that I'm paying. It's like that. So to me, right there sucks. But I did have all the items in my cart. I'm waiting for checkout. And there was no checkout coming because the site eventually crashed and Funko dropped the ball and um, they were putting out um, apologies notices on, on on Twitter. And I said, I'm done talking about Funko. I might even be done collecting. Uh, I did not pick up any San Diego Comic Con pops at all. Um, I'm just disappointed in Funko at all. Um, I actually tried, but it's not like I didn't try. I actually went to the store. They were sold out. Like, they are completely, there was not even one left in my Hot Topic. They were gone. I seen it firsthand for myself. There, were, there was none in sight. I was actually shocked because normally there's still, a few, even if there's some that people don't want, those things are gone. So a lot of people who probably didn't want able to pick it up on the Funko shop, went up and hit up Hot Topic and their old things were gone. Um, which is shocking because um, normally like my Hot Topic don't sell out my figures like that too much. And then there was, um, yeah, that was about it. Uh, the, uh, the Target as well, the Superman, I went up in there, asked the guy if uh, he had the uh, um, Cyborg Superman. He said that they sold out yesterday. So I was like, God. Those were the ones I really want, but I really tried for the black lining and I wasn't able to get it, but that was it for Funko. <laughs> now, Mayfix. So Mayfix has some big drops as well. They showed off that they were working on a Batman, the animated version. That looks pretty cool. I love the animated version of Batman. Um, I really love the design. He also comes with two other head sculpts. That looks pretty good. Mayfax is one of the best in the, in the business. I really love this Batman. As well as the brown version of Wolverine. Um, so those are those two. So that was about it. Uh, two of my favorite characters. I would definitely pick those up. 
Um, I don't really buy too many main facts. Actually, I don't really have a main facts, but there are some, some I'm really, really trying to get. So like I said earlier, I try to dive into line to complete those lines before I move on to something else. But those are on my mind. So I'll definitely pick those up. Eventually, I'll definitely pick those up. <laughs> the V Mattel had a lot of huge drops. Um, they had some ones that I, I, I'm not going to talk about each and every reveal. I'm only going to talk about some of my favorite wrestlers that they revealed. Um, they revealed DDP. That looks actually pretty cool. I really love DDP. Um, he had the diamond cutter growing up as a kid. He was an older wrestler that uh, he was told growing up uh, in wrestling. Um, he was told that he was too old to wrestle um, because I think he was like in his late 30s when he was trying to wrestle. I don't remember how old he was, um, but he... He just screw you guys. I'm going to wrestle. And he got into WCW and actually made a name for himself, man. Really, really love DDP. Um, uh, he was pretty cool. They had Rocky Johnson, which is, uh, uh, I believe he passed away uh, this year. So, but it's The Rock. If you guys don't know, it's The Rock, his father, Rocky Johnson. So that's pretty cool, you know, for you older fans out there who love collecting the figures as well. They had some Kyle O'Reilly. From the uh, undisputed era, I don't know how to do their their um, hand signals, but he also comes with a chase. If you love the undisputed era from NXT, they have some of those. Keith Lee, which I'm a huge fan of, um, the Basque and his glory. I really, really love that um, Keith Lee man. He's actually a pretty good wrestler. Um, I'm definitely picked that up as well. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of him. Uh, and there's some big ones that they dropped was Bray Wyatt, the exclusive um, firehouse. That looks pretty cool. It also comes with the bunnies. Um, I already have the Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, but I would definitely pick this one up as well because this one comes with the um, one where he's doing his promos and his just regular um, uh, jumpsuit or not a jumpsuit, but it's like his regular outfit. Um, I would definitely pick this one up as well. As well as the Rocky Ultimate from Amazon, which I did pre-order. So I cannot wait to get that one in. But that was about if um, There was definitely more, but that was the it, the ones that I was interested in. And then, let's talk about the show stealers. <laughs> the show stealer of this year, San Diego Comic Con, is uh, the, out of, coming out of nowhere. The big clutch hitter. The big... Uh, Barry Bonds, the big Michael Jordan clutch shot out of nowhere, which is Todd McFarlane himself come through in the clutch with some huge reveals. Holy crap, this dude went crazy. Um, he revealed his, his DC Multiverse line that's coming out, and man, there were some big ones. But before that, he actually revealed some cyborg monsters. That uh, actually look pretty cool. There's a shark one which you could put with Batman. It's like he's fighting King Shark. Um, I really love McFarlane to do a King Shark. Um, but I, I was actually joking on Instagram saying that Todd must have watched my uh, wish list video because there was a lot of the, uh, uh, the figures that I put in the wish list videos actually popped up on some of these reveals. So I was joking, but of course he's not gonna watch me. I'm just a young YouTuber. Not even has um, eighty something subscribers, but um, <laughs> but he revealed some crazy, crazy stuff. So he revealed the Arkham Origins Deathstroke, and oh my god, you guys don't know, I absolutely love this Deathstroke um, because I have the hot toy himself. But I really love this Deathstroke; he's my favorite. Um, I really love the Origins Deathstroke. And man, he revealed it. And I was like, oh my God. In that video, in that in the Wishlist video, I did say I would love to see the Arkham Origins death show. And I can't believe he made it. Um, he also did a, a Batman as well. So it was kind of like, I don't know if these were two packs, but since he put them in the same promotional shot, um, they might be sold separately. But um, but yeah, so that's all the information we got for those. So the Arkham Origins death show and Batman, that looks pretty cool. Um, then he revealed the Crow Robins, which three of them have interchangeable heads. That looks pretty cool. Um, believe these were Builder figures as well. 
Um, but before that, he I actually had the Sky Tyrant from Batman Who Laughs. These are the, the Batman Who Laughs figures. Um, and they already have the Batman Who Laughs, so you could put the, the Robins with that figure as well. So that's pretty awesome. So but the build of figure is the Merciless Batman. That's actually pretty cool, man. I mean, oh my God, it's so crazy that he's getting the, the Merciless Batman. Um, like I said, man, Todd listens, man. If you if you really say something to him, if people really, really want those figures, man. He'll make them, man. It's pretty awesome. And then he also revealed the Curse of the White Knight, Azrael. Love that he's doing Azrael, man. Azrael needs more love. And I love these different interpretations of these other characters as well. Uh, so we got Curse of the White Knight, Batman. I mean, Azrael. Uh, as well as the Joker. So that was pretty cool to see that. I'm not a huge, really fan of that Joker. Um, but... It's crazy to get those as well as the flash so he had the flash as well um that looks pretty cool um i actually revealed it with the animated cyborg now i really like i said i really love the animated show growing up as a kid but man this is this is crazy to get the animated cyborg i was still on the fence about the face sculpt but if you actually go back and look at the picture which I'm going to display a picture of the animated version Cyborg. And this actually is pretty accurate if you ask me. Um, but it was actually pretty cool to see that as well. Actually pretty shocked on that one. As well as the last one for the DC Multiverse was just the Thomas Wayne Batman. And Flashpoint, you guys know, oh my god, this thing is absolutely sick. I absolutely love Flashpoint Batman and, and not too many much figures of him, but it's so, so cool. Hopefully down the line, he'll do a Justice League 3000 Batman. Oh my God, it would look so crazy. I cannot wait. I really love this. The fact that he's doing these DC multiverse um, figures as well as Red Death. There was that Red Death that everybody was wondering from the first wave. Everybody was wondering what the hell happened to that Red Death or, or the second... Let me let me rephrase that. Everybody was wondering what happened to it from the second. Um, uh, okay. Technically, it, it's it's he already had the one, two, three waves that came out. But I'm talking about like the figures that are released wave. If you, if that makes any sense, which is the. Um, uh, I just post a picture of them, <laughs> uh, but it, like those. So everybody thought he was gonna come with those with that wave, um, but he actually got revealed with this. So we're we're gonna see what happens with that. Uh, but that's not it. Or we thought it was over. He's like, no, hell no, I'm not over with. You guys need to elite see this. So he revealed a doom, but not just the doom. He revealed the doomicorn. I was like, oh my God, this guy is crazy. He looks absolutely sick. Um, I'm not actually, I, I don't know if it was in Doom Eternal, but man, I'm not familiar with this Doom, but I think it is from Doom Eternal. But holy crap, Big Father, what are you doing, man? This is crazy. I can't believe you're actually doing that. As well as the big one for me, um... He revealed two, two new, um, I thought he was over with, I thought there was no more, no more in the wave, but he revealed two new My Hero Academia figures. One of them was Bakugo, the one in, um, in the UA uniform that looks actually crazy. I really love the, I really love his, um, his, um, My Hero Academia figures. They're not the best, but for, for the price on them. Or is actually pretty good. I really love that. But he he did Hero Killer Stain, and I was like, oh my god, that's a figure I've been dying for. If you guys watch any of my videos with My Hero Academia, I talk about we need a My Hero Killer Stain. We need him, <laughs> and the fact that he did it is absolutely crazy. Man, I really love it. If you guys don't know a Killer Stain. He is the um, one of the strongest villains. He died, actually, on the show. 
But what he does is he stabs you. Even if he gets one little drop on his knife, he if he licks the blood, he paralyzes you. Absolutely pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, he's one of the strongest villains in My Hero Academia. Uh, but man, the fact that we got him is absolutely crazy. And then the mic drop. And this is how I'm going to end this video before I talk about the giveaway. He did the mic drop and he revealed that he's doing the Witcher. Oh my God. That, I, I, that's it. I'm not even, that's it. I'm done. I said, I'm done. Okay, guys, for the giveaway. So if you guys want to win this giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below in this video. First, you have to be subscribed. You have to like this video. And that's it. And you have to comment uh, what I'm going to tell you to comment. And you automatically enter to win. Um, I decided to give away two figures in this video just because it is San Diego Comic Con. And I'm feeling really generous. My birthday's coming up as well. We are so close to getting to, yes, 100 subscribers. It's not a lot, but it's actually huge for me. It's a huge milestone regardless. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys who like this video. But if you guys want to win this giveaway, which is the Dabby from My Hero Academia. Let me take it out of the box, which I have unboxed on the channel. And um, here is the Dabby, uh, which is one of the strongest villains in My Hero Academia. And the DC Multiverse Batman figure, um, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so if you guys want to win these two figures, all you have to do down below is comment. Your favorite figure from San Diego Comic Con. That's all it is. It could be from any year. It does. It doesn't matter which it is from any company. Just comment down your favorite San Diego Comic Con reveal figure. One that you bought doesn't even matter. All you have to do is just win that, and you automatically enter to win. I will do a video later on about who actually wins. Um, and that is not the only giveaway. So I still got uh, uh, at least one or two more giveaways coming up. Um, so if you guys don't win this one, don't fret. You're actually um, entered to win the next one. So um, people past winners, if you have won one before, you're not entered to win this. Uh, another um, uh, giveaway because I want to be fair to other people who ha um, hasn't won. So if you have one, you're not entered to, to win one. Um, but, uh, that's it. All you have to do is comment your favorite San Diego Comic Con figure, reveal, doesn't matter. Um, one in your collection, uh, one, whatever. It just had to be San Diego Comic Con. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So you guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys later. Happy hunting. <laughs>